any jump shot that allows you to green from limitless range with no shooting badges is definitely a jump shot worth checking out. If you guys are looking for a stacked NBA 2K or Fortnite account, make sure you go to sportstmb.com. That's right. No more Twitter. He has an official business website, sportstmb.com. There you'll be able to view all the accounts, see the prices, and get what you need. The link is in the description. Go click it and see what he has to offer. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been quite a while since we did a jump shot video, but like I told y'all, when I actually change my jump shot, I will post a jump shot video. I'm not forcing jump shot videos out, only when I change my jump shot. I've been using this jump shot for a couple weeks on my point forward, and it's really, really good. Now, you guys know how I do it on the jump shot videos. I don't waste your time. I get right to the jump shot because I know a lot of you guys just want the jump shot and then you're going to leave. That's cool. All I ask is that you drop a like before you leave. All right. Those of you that stick around for the whole video, I appreciate it. Make sure you comment down below that you're sticking around. I'll make sure that I say thanks. Now, check this out. This jump shot is Stephen Curry base. Release one, Rudy Gay. Release two, Rudy Gay. Uh, the release speed is 100 and the blend obviously doesn't matter because both releases are the same. Now, check this out. I've been using Steph Curry's jump shot on that 5-7 sharp video that I made. I've been using Steph Curry jump shot on i believe another video too on another build and it's it, it it is really good it feels really smooth and on my point four using its base combined with rudy gay release it just it flows really nice you guys saw from the clips like i'm shooting limitless range greens and this build has no shooting badges the only i think the only shooting badge it gets is corner specialist and obviously that doesn't matter at the top of the key so Listen, once you get the timing down, the, the thing snaps green. It is really, really good, man. We're going to get into the gameplay now. So for those of you that just came for the jump shot, you're going to head out. I appreciate it. Like I said, please just drop a like. Those of you sticking around, let's get right into this gameplay. So basically, both these games are going to be on the twos. I'm running with Stumpy. Uh, you guys know Stumpy 610 lock runs with Bandit a lot. Really good lockdown. And then obviously, I'm on my pure point forward. So like I said, no shooting badges. We're playing against elite threes. And you're going to see how this jump shot performs. Now, check this out. On my pure point forward, obviously, my main goal is not to shoot. My main goal is to try to get in the paint because, obviously, I can speed boost, I can break ankles, and my guy finishes around the basket really, really well being 6'9". But I need a jump shot that hits consistently enough that if they play back, I can knock down the three because then they have to come, you know, if I knock down the three and then they have to come play up, then that, that's a wrap. I'm getting to the basket all day. So I need something that can hit consistently. Now, Steph Curry base is not the fastest base in the game by any stretch. Like, you know, I'm usually the guy that wants the fastest jump shot possible. So we're looking at like LaMarcus Aldridge, base 11, base nine, jump shots like that. But on a pure point forward, honestly, it can be difficult to time those fast jump shots. Obviously, your jump shot rating is not super high, so it's not the easiest thing to do to shoot with those really fast jump shots. Now, Steph Curry base is faster than base uh, 24, jump shot 24 that I posted maybe, it's like almost two months ago now. And jump shot 24 still is really good, but obviously being the ball handler, I need something at least fast enough I can get off. Like if they play a little bit back, I gotta be able to get the jump shot off. And Steph Curry base provides that. Like, like I said, it's not the fastest base in the world, but it's fast enough that I can get the shot off. So we get the ball here and now it's time to go to work. One thing I will say is you're going to see how I kind of utilize the jump shot. I'm like I said, I'm not looking to shoot. My build is not a primary shooter. My goal is to either dot my teammate like this on a backdoor cut or, you know, in a corner or whatever, or to get to the basket. So you're going to see how I use the jump shot to kind of counter counter it and get to where I want to. If you're a ball handler, I highly suggest you use it in this fashion. Not like you're going out there thinking you're a pure stretch, going to be shooting threes all game long. Use it to, to open up other aspects of your game. Now check this out. So I had, I got an assist. I got to the basket once. Now I see he's backing up, but I'm able to bait him into coming towards me right here. Boom. Get past him on a crossover basket, two hand dump. Now, like I said, I saw him backing up on the last play, right? I saw him backing up. I was able to bait him to come to me. Now I'm going to bait him to go into the paint 
I'm gonna spin back and I'm gonna be able to hit the three. Check it out, step back, come this way, spin back. You see how he backs up into the paint? I'm just, I'm just reading what he's doing. He backed up on the last play. I was able to bait him to come to me. So I saw he backed up again. I baited him to go thinking that I was gonna go in the paint again, step back and I green the three. That's what this jump shot is really, really good at, especially on those ball handling builds. If you can create the space, it's slow enough that you're, you know, you're gonna be able to time it nine times out of 10, you're gonna be able to green. I, you're gonna see this game, all greens, the next game, all greens from three. Now, like I said, I'm not shooting a lot of threes. You're not gonna see seven for seven gameplays because honestly, I'm not gonna shoot seven threes on my point forward. That's not what I'm, you know, that's not what the build is built for. I mean, unless, unless they're just absolutely sitting in the paint, but most people, they're not gonna do that. Obviously, they're not gonna just leave you wide open, especially, you know, we're playing against good players here, elite threes, pretty good records and whatnot. Like they're not gonna just sit in the paint because that would make no sense to just give you wide open shots. Now, uh, 17 to four right here. I've only shot on one three really, right? But again, like I said, I'm not gonna force it, but it depends how they're playing me. Spin back, look at boom, get a little ankle breaker, step back over him, green. And remember, this is on a, a build that's not a shooting build with no shooting badges. Now, what I will say is if you're gonna put this on a shooting build, remember, it's not the fastest jump shot. Like I, when I used to play on my stretch, I always wanted a very fast jump shot. Now, I know some people like slower jump shots and if that's you then this this could work on your stretch or your sharp or whatever whatever other shooting build you got but for me if I'm playing on a shooting build I want a faster jump shot not that this is a slow jump shot but I want the fastest of the fast stumpy hits the three we ended up getting a turnover on the inbounds but you see flawless I'm five for five two for two from three stumpy was four for four two two for two from three but both threes were green for me like I said I'm not shooting a lot of threes but when I do shoot them I'm gonna make them count now check it out the next game we're going against the same lineup that we're running they're running a point forward and a lockdown you see a pro three point forward but then they got an elite three lockdown as well all right so they're both tall they got the size to contest shots but you're gonna see again i could create space and when i do this jump shot's consistent enough that i'm gonna be hitting bro and you guys saw the clips in that little like 30 second montage I, I put together in the beginning for you guys i don't want to make it too long with a ton of clips i just want to put a couple in there so you guys can kind of see you saw how especially the clip in the intro you saw how deep we were like i know i got the boost off the ankle breaker obviously for those of you i'm sure everybody knows by now but when you get an ankle breaker it boosts like your shooting stats and you guys saw that clip we green from probably silver if not gold limitless it was like three three feet behind the line like back at the hash but we were top of the key obviously that's deep with some and i don't it's not like i have bronze or silver limit i have no limitless on this guy i have no catch and shoot i have no I have no shooting badges, bro. <laughs> that's how you know the jump shot is really, really good. And that's not like a one-off. I could put together a whole couple minute montage of hitting deep shots with this with this jump shot. This jump shot hits, man. That's that, that's basically what it's coming down to. The jump shot hits. You're gonna see this game. We shoot, we shoot all greens from three again. And this is again, this is against elite three lockdown and a point forward. They're both tall. They're both, you know, able to contest shots. One dude is is the best defensive build in the game. And it doesn't matter, bro. You see us here. We're just kind of reading what the defender's doing. Boom, snap it back, pull up, green. That's from like a foot behind the three-point line. I mean, not super deep, but still. If you're hitting from there and you're shooting greens, is you're gonna be, especially on this build, a tall speed boosting player like this, you're gonna be, you're gonna be a you're gonna be a tough guard. You're gonna be a really tough guard. They're gonna have, you know, if they have to play up, boom, get past them, lay up. Just use it, use it as a counter. You know what I mean? definitely use it as a counter if you're playing on a ball handling build stumpy hits the three there we're up 13-0 against these dudes and like i said we're not playing bums either both games they had elite threes on their team and you guys see the jump shot performs doesn't matter who you're playing against if you can create space for yourself you're gonna love this shot simple as that dunking all over a lockdown i'm telling you this six nine point forward man if i made this at the start of the year whew. but don't worry don't worry we won't make the same mistake next year Throw it over to Stumpy. He's shooting over people, bro, on a lockdown. I, whew, I know he's catching off Hall of Fame Dimer, but still, that, that's a tough shot right there. Check it out. 18-0. You see he's playing in the paint. Boom, pull up green. That's three for three from three. All green. I missed two layups that game. I just cut him out to make the video a little, you know, I don't want to drag it out for you guys. But three for three from three, all, all green. The first game, two for two from three, all green. You guys seen the clips, man. Try out the jump shot. You guys are going to love it. I appreciate the support. I'm out. Peace. Peace.